you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted to call you because um, basically on summer 2016, I converted to Islam, and um, I was raised in a Catholic um, family. Mm -hmm. At first, I was reluctant, but then my cousins converted first, and then I went in depth about Islam, and I converted. However, I had a problem with um, the Trinity conception. Basically, my my like my main problem, what was with the Holy Trinity, mm. because um, I feel like the Holy Trinity is a concept that was developed um, for later. Mm. But originally, I feel like it's not at all in the Bible and quickly concerning like the last call you received um, where yeah Jesus like, was um, was uh, like he 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 was a messenger he gave the word of God mm -hmm. but I don't believe like unlike the Trinity mm -hmm. that um, Jesus okay. was the okay, friend, like you, you a said, part you of said God you, you said you were a Christian right yeah, Catholic. What is the first book of the in the Bible? The first book of the Bible, mm -hmm. like the what do you mean, the version? You know, the see, you're, you're never been Christian. You are an Egyptian, but this is not. not my, I don't care. So sorry, you you never been a Christian because there's no way a Christian he would not know what is the first book in the Bible. But I mean the version of or like the book as in the chapters because I don't talk in English. No, the first book, uh, the first book. You are an Egyptian. I can tell. So you are not. I'm not an Egyptian. Okay. I know uh, it's just Genesis, oh, oh, but King oh, James oh, version. Oh, oh, uh, that's okay. So you do not know how. What kind of a Christian? He do not know what is the first book is in the Bible. I, I know what it is, but it's like it the the, the versions okay, like throughout the word. What it is. Genesis. Okay, now you come to the, like, the, I mean, all this time to come to the Genesis. So you are reading the text, you are reading the, the people saying, and now you said Genesis. Thank you. So you said you never heard of the Trinity in the Bible. It's something new. Isn't it in the first book of Genesis? It says it clearly that God in his spirit. That God is in what? God in his spirit. What is the first verse and second verse in the book of Genesis says? In the beginning, God created in the heaven and the earth. And the yeah. earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit mm -hmm. of God moved upon the face of the water. So how you say that the, this is something new? So from the beginning, the, the Bible speaks that at, at, at the first two verses, that there's God and there's the Spirit mm -hmm. of God. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Does the Bible say is that God, he came to Abraham as a man? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Now what we have, we have God in heaven, we have God the Spirit, and we have God the Man. How you say to me that this is something newly happened? Because the the essence of God in the what is the in the Bible. Gods? What is the ethan of God? I, I just showed you. There's God the Spirit, God in heaven. Because. The, 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 the fact that like God as a as a human like God in flesh. Well, God, uh, you just agreed that God he came to Adam as a, a to Abraham as a as a human. You just agreed no. a second ago. That the God came to Abraham as a as a human. He, he wasn't like like we take Jesus as um, what in Christianity. Mean? Did he came to Abraham as a man? Yes or no? Not really, because he didn't not came like truly as as uh, as what, a man. What, what do you mean? To what, do you mean? what do you mean? What do you mean? He wasn't like it wasn't like his 
it was an impersonation sent from him. What? what? But it, it was, wasn't it was, him. It was what? Like it, it was what? Like the fact that he was like he was not human. He it was an impersonation that came to Abraham. So you are saying this is what uh, like a three D dimension? It was not God. <laughs> not really because then you reduce God to to human what because then if the Bible, you, if does the Bible logic, says does the you, Bible says what you are saying or the Bible says that three three men they came to Abraham does the Bible say word by word three men came to Abraham yes or no yeah it, it says that yeah three okay. men visited so three men came to abraham it doesn't say any of what you are saying so why you are fabricating things it's not there where do you get that this is not god this is a form no the thing i was saying is that i was uh, making focus on jesus mm. when yeah, I'm, I'm when we on jesus too i'm still focusing on jesus jesus said before abraham i am and abraham he saw my day still i'm focusing in jesus we did not change the topic so how abraham he saw jesus Mm -hmm. Jesus is speaking about when he came to Abraham as his God and he spoke to him and Abraham saw his his day and he glorified him Second and then hold on Abraham, hold on. Let me ask yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, let me ask you Can okay. the spirit can yeah. can can God? Appear as a man come as a man can he or he cannot He can appear like he can appear like as a man mm. through through uh, personas, mm. but he can like his nature. He can be reduced to a man. Mm. Okay. Well, Jesus, when he resurrected people from death, when he made the blind see, when he uh, 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 he told you what you hide in your house, as the Quran says, he was a man or God. He was the messenger of God who okay. had his how power come from God. Cannot do, how come no messenger of God can do what Jesus did? Jesus was uh, the, the, Masih, the Messiah. So what? This is not the question. By the will. At the end of the, the day, no, by, what, 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 what do you mean by the will? What will? Are you saying by, to by me? By the will of God. What, by the will of God, Jesus can, can be creator? No, by the will of God, Jesus can per perform miracles. Okay. Jesus can perform miracle to the point he can be creator. Uh, do you have an example in mind? Are you sure you know your Quran? Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Hmm. So because I don't know if you take like for your source, your source, uh, if you take from the Quranic uh, perspective so or if the I, if I, biblical. I, if I have a I have a weak hadith. It says that Jesus he can breathe into the mud. And he make it a living bird. So a weak hadith. Yeah, a weak hadith. And you take it as a source. So what we would do? Are you saying we reject it now? No, I is saying I'm saying like first, if it's weak, it is questionable. Okay, but but, but if, um, if this story is a true, let us say let us assume that this story is a true. If the story is a true that Jesus can breathe into the mud and he make it a living creature, is that will make him a god? I don't think it can. It makes him God, even Why? if it was true, because mm. um, because it is ultimately mm. from the will of God. Oh, well, uh, well, Allah He said that only Him He can create anything. How that can be? Because that would be a contradiction. Because the good comes from Him, like it's by no, this is not a question. His will. This is not a question. Who is the one in the Quran? He can create everything. Chapter two, verse number twenty-nine. It says. That Allah is the one who created everything in earth. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how Jesus can create things in the earth? By the will of God. Like but simply. this is contradiction. If Allah confirmed that he is the one, this verse came long after Jesus. 600 years but, after Jesus. Hold on. This verse came 600 years after Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this verse says, I, see. I created everything in earth. And then we get another verse in the Quran saying that Jesus created things in earth. You tell me by the will of Allah, doesn't matter. Still, that's mean this verse in the Quran is a lie because not everything in the earth is created by Allah. There's things okay. in the earth created by Jesus. Okay, I, uh, I get what you mean. But mm. the thing is, um, yes, yes. So first of all, we have to still keep in mind that this hadith is dive.
So let's keep well, it in mind. I have a surprise for you. This is not the Eve Hadith. I know you will say no, no, this okay, is Okay, okay. I'm going to, like, it's not my argument. No, 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 no. Let me show you how the Muslims, they play games. Now, you just say it because this is, I want to put in your mind that this is a Da'if Hadith. So no, but I will answer without using this no, argument. No, 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 you, you, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did already. This is not a Da'if Hadith, this is Quran and the verse in the front okay. of you. Okay, okay, I, I will, uh, uh, it wasn't my argument, it mm. was the thing is, like I was making focus on uh, the fact that you said mm. that uh, God, like in the Quran, mm. had um, power over all things, that he's a creator and everything. Yes, okay. so, what, so what is your argument now? We have now we have two creators. We have Allah and Jesus. No, uh, how you have well, yeah. I mean, I mean, for you, you have, you have, yeah, you think you have Jesus. The thing is, the thing, yeah, Allah is the creator of everything that is on earth. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that the the this will of creation, mm -hmm. like it comes ultimately mm -hmm. from from Allah. So, uh, so what, what does that mean? The will of Allah can transform the ability of a creation to different people too? Can you repeat please? I didn't hear you. See, I, if I say to you who is God, you say to me he is the creator. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you say to me that Jesus now is a creator because Allah will says Jesus can be creator. But that means there's two gods. Because if God is the one who can create, Jesus, he can create. You tell me that this is the will of Allah. First of all, there's no proof of it. I can say now, I am the one who gave Jesus the power of creation. You can say that too. It's a talk is a cheap. If there's a proof that Allah He gave the power to Jesus, no. The proof is in the front of us that Jesus created from the mud living creatures. Secondly, Muhammad, the Muslims and, and non-Muslims keep asking him for a miracle, and Muhammad he says to them. My God, Allah, he refrained from sending miracle. How come Allah, he is God, but he cannot support his prophet to give miracles? And this is a da'if hadith too. Like, like your question, so to I'm sum asking it up, you, your... did, did Allah support Muhammad by miracles like Jesus? Did he give him ability to create from the mud a bird? So you mean the miracle in question is creation? No, no, I'm asking you very specific thing. If yeah. Allah is the one who gave Jesus the ability of all those things Jesus can do, he can make the blind see, he can feed people from you know tens of thousands, even he sent he, he uh, sandwiches, uh, uh, suppose the sky open and send him seven sandwiches, every sandwich have a big wheel in it, not falafel. All of this thing happened to Jesus. Why Allah did not support his prophet with the same miracles. If I mean, the one, be, if the, why would he? Why would he why, like why give not? the same why miracles? If, I mean, people, people, it depends on. No, 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 no. He, he, why he would to Jesus then? We should ask the same question. Miracles is to prove that this guy is sent by God. This is the point of this miracle. Yeah, because because Jesus was okay. the the, how the, Muhammad, the Messiah. How Muhammad he want to prove? So what if he's a Messiah? You, you, you keep giving me a headache with the Messiah. As if you are saying to me, because he's a Messiah, he's an exception, correct? Okay, so uh, so according to you, if uh, Muhammad was, uh, I'm just trying to get you your point of view. So according to you, if Muhammad was um, a legit messenger, he should uh, had have had these all those abilities to perform miracles, like giving, like giving uh, life out of clay, like in Surah Al Maida. Or, my friend, my friend, not only that, not only that. Muhammad in the Quran said that his God refrained from giving him miracles, which means he have zero miracle. The chapter seventeen, verse number fifty-nine. The chapter in the Quran, you said chapter which one? Seventeen, fifty-nine. That he refrained to to give miracles hmm. Why? to Muhammad. Yeah. I mean, it depends on. I don't get. I like. I don't feel like you get like my point of view when I say that. You know, Jesus my friend. My friend, hold on. So we have Jesus have all those tons of miracles. Do he need them all? He need one, two. Look what how many Jesus he can do. He can even tell you what you had in your houses. Muhammad in the Quran says, "If I know the unseen, I will take the benefit of it." So Muhammad do not know the unseen. Jesus know the unseen. And the only one knows the unseen is God. 
Jesus, he can create from the mother bird, which means he is a creator. Jesus can bring people to life, which means he's a resurrector. Jesus can forgive sin. Jesus can tell you what you hide. Jesus can tell you what you are thinking. Jesus can do things nobody can do. No. I'm okay, but you, the thing is, Jesus I'm, doesn't I'm, know I'm, the I'm, power of no, 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 the, no, the Jesus moment of the fight. So, no, I mean, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. We, we will go to that. Jesus, he knew the hour. Or what Jesus, because we saw, you see, you, 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 you are, because you've never been a Christian, you do not know what Christianity teach. No, Jesus doesn't know the no, hour. No, like, it's even no, in the no, Bible. No, 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 listen. It is Allah who do not know the hour. We won't show you. I mean, so show me that Jesus know the hour. Okay, instead. I will show you the same chapter. Is you are going to say to me, Jesus said nobody know the hour, but the Father is the same chapter where Jesus tell you when the hour will be. <laughs> you know, so you are misquoting the verses, my friend. Isn't it? Jesus says when this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and this happened, and this happened. Then I will come. What are you talking about? Now let us go to Allah. Allah, after He said that He refrained from sending miracles, showing His disability. Allah in the Quran says. That the moon is split and the judgment day is near. Is that correct? Allah, say, can you repeat, please? Allah says what? Allah said that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Yeah. In okay. Okay. So Allah He claimed that this is a sign of a judgment day. Do you agree? That the moon, the, the split moon, would be. A, you mean with the the, the how when the how is of is judgment will be there? The moon will is, be is like that, slit. Is that a sign of the judgment day? Yes or no? Does the verse says that? Um, a split. I I don't know. I don't recall if the translation says split or 54. when it's hidden. Okay, what is your language? I'm actually talking like in French. What the is first your is first French. Language? French is first your language. first language. You can read it. chapter fifty-four, verse number one. It says that the hour is near, not only near actually, it says Oktarabat, which means it's almost there, and the moon is split ascender. So the Quran claimed that the moon, there was an eclipse, and Muhammad claimed that the Quran, in the Quran, that the moon is split to pieces, which is stupid, and this is a sign of a judgment day. Was it? This is 1400 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. did, did judgment day come? Is it, is it near? We nobody knows. What do you mean nobody knows? Like, are you are you alive, or we are in the? Are you in heaven now, or you are talking to me from this earth? From this earth. Okay, so the judgment day did not happen. So Allah is the one who did not know. Secondly, you know when we say that you say I asked you why Jesus have all those miracles and Muhammad don't have any. What was your answer? That when about when Jesus because. Um, basically, like it's it's because like Jesus had to convey a message. Why? That was why, like why? the revelation. Why, the why? revelation no, 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 no. What, of Jesus why? was from God. What, what? So I mean, so you are saying to me that Jesus he had to prove that he is the Messiah by his miracle, but Muhammad he don't have to prove anything. Abraham didn't too. Yet he he Abraham didn't perf perform miracles. No, did did even the Quran confirm God? He made a miracle to Abraham himself. He sent down from heaven. A big lamb to sacrifice instead of his son. This is a miracle. Yes, but it okay. doesn't come from Abraham. It, it comes matter. from God. It doesn't matter. People, they were not asking him to do miracle as much they are asking him to give miracle from his God because all miracles come from God anyway. So when you agree that Jesus is the one who did the miracle, you said it's from God. Okay. So why By the way, why, Muhammad, God, yeah. why Muhammad don't have miracles? Do you know that the, even, even the Quran confirmed that we should not believe in anyone he is uh, claiming to be a messenger unless he give a sacrifice and Allah he send a fire the same as he did to Abraham lamb is that true but what can you repeat is it true in the Quran it says that we should not believe any messenger the people mankind and Allah have a covenant with, with with the mankind that you should not believe in Allah messenger Unless he send, unless he make a sacrifice, like you sacrifice a lamb, and then Allah He will send that fire, the same as He did to Abraham. Yeah, unless He provides uh, nayatun, basically like a sign. Mm. So, did yeah, that, I agree. On that. Okay, so why Muhammad did not do that? Did the people ask him to do that? 
Did the people ask him to, to perform a miracle? To perform, to give a, sac a sacrifice and to see if Allah will take it. If he is a truthful prophet. I mean, this is simple. Just sacrifice a lamb and people will witness the same as what happened to Abraham. But there, there has been uh, prophecies made by him in some, like, in the Islamic belief, like miracles made by him. My friend, like what? Like in Israel, Miraj. But this is nobody saw. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but nobody saw. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus, like nobody saw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To this day, when anything, Jesus, right? when Jesus, he make the blind see, the blind he saw. What Muhammad he did, he make you blind. He said to you, "I was asleep. I was in my house, and at night, I went all the way to the sky. Then I went to the back to Jerusalem, and then I came back, but there's no witnesses." Do they have any witnesses? Have you ever heard of a miracle? What the where, where are Jesus' witnesses about the, those miracles? It all lies in faith. Thousands of people, they are witnessing, even the Quran witnessing for them. What's wrong with you? It, it is you who just said to me, Allah gave him the miracle to do it. Now you are saying to me, where is the miracle? The blind who he made him yeah, see. It, it okay, in the scriptures, hold on, hold on. There, are, there are witnesses, the, but the even Quran from Muhammad, there are witnesses that. in the scripture. I'm talking now. like, does the because Quran, you used to talk about like, the Quran now. Says, a second ago, you were defending, saying that Allah gave him this miracle. Now you are saying to me, where is the, the, where is the, where is the miracle of Jesus? When Jesus made the oh. blind see, is the blind is a man? Or is a fiction? Was it a dream or real? No, in the scripture, it's real. Okay, and in, in your book, is it real or fiction? It's real too, in my book. Okay, yeah. so why are you questioning that now? You see, you are being hypocrite. Secondly, you are a prophet. People, they said to him, we have a covenant with Allah. Allah, he made a covenant with them. It's not their fault that we will not follow any messenger unless he give a sacrifice and Allah, he send fire to consume it. Chapter 3, verse 183. Why Allah, he made a covenant with the people about this if you don't want them to believe in it? And it's not required. Oh, you lost me. Like I was just like uh, on the list of miracles. I was still about the, like, the miracles made by Muhammad too. What is the miracle made by Muhammad? Muhammad, is, there's no miracle. Even the verse you quote me from the Quran, it does not say that Muhammad, he commit a miracle. It says they, that they Allah, are hold on, hold on. like there are see, also see, the, the see, events like wanna, during the, the Hijrah. I don't know how old uh, are you. I don't want to. I don't want to insult you. I don't know how old are you. I am saying, where is the miracle of Muhammad? As something nobody saw. How that can be a miracle? I can claim anything. I can say yesterday I went to J Japan and came back in the morning. No witnesses. No, no, no. During during the Hijrah, like Muhammad caused blindness. To, to Quraysh it. Where, where, where? This is false. Where, where in the, uh, okay, if this is the truth, that means the Quran is a book of lies. Because the Quran says, I oh, refrain. So. My friend, the Quran says, we refrain from sending miracles. So how you say that Muhammad have miracles and the Quran saying Muhammad has no miracles? Who is lying? Refraining doesn't mean like sending really? no miracles. No, refrain mean, no, refrain mean that we refrain. We don't do it. This is what refrain, chapter 17, verse number 59. And we refrain from sending signs only because the man of former generation treated him as false. Where is the miracle of this? How such a miracle making people blind, as you claim, is not in the Quran? Why is not in the Quran? Why the miracle of Jesus in the Quran, but the miracle of Muhammad not in the Quran? Oh, okay, so now you're making like a difference between Hadith and Quran. I'm not making differences, man. It's you. Because either the miracle should be mentioned in the Quran, because this is a miracle. This is not about farting. Why we mention the miracles of Jesus in the Quran, but miracles of Muhammad is not in the Quran? It's not important? And how the no, Quran it, I says... I mean, it, it, it depends on like the, like on you interpret things, because... Like uh, most, listen, listen, most listen, like listen, even the Quran says it, like the, the revelation hadith, itself. The hadith, the Quran is, than, uh, the hadith is a miracle. The hadith is something fabricated 300 years after Muhammad. They never okay, so let's Muhammad. forget the, the hadith. If okay, you want no, to. hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I'm asking you. Let us say the hadith is saying the truth. Why it is not on the Quran? Okay, so let's forget the, the hadith if you want to. No, no like I don't want to forget anything. No, I, wa I don't want to forget the hadith. I love the hadith. <laughs> okay. Secondly, my friend. Secondly, what kind of God you do not know even where the sun set?
Oh no, not this again. Why? Like, please. Why, not, why? What is again? What you are you are saying? You don't accept the Trinity. The Trinity. We we showed you the Trinity. And God, He can be whatever He is. It's not up to you to tell to God what He is. I will make an, a, 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 like a, a very simple thing for you. When Allah He says that He is going to change His shape, are you going to ask Allah why you change His shape? And what is your no? Shape? The thing is no. The thing is like in the Bible, like Jesus, who is believed by Christians to be uh, God on earth hmm. had human characteristics well, Allah have he had human reactions and human weaknesses okay no 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 he don't have weaknesses my friend he don't have our weaknesses this is the weakness of the flesh then why, why did Satan okay, hold on, hold on. try to, oh, to oh, tempt him on the, in, the, in the desert he try the shaitan he tried to tempt Allah too Allah he said to shaitan bow down shaitan he refused this is the temptation of power I disobey you. That is it's not the same nature but, of temptation. No, no, no. But he like, was not successful. Uh, the, no, no, the, the, my friend. The temptation no, of no, Satan no, no. This is in a, the this desert is a, was to make him sin. This is a false statement from you. Was Shaitan able to deceive Jesus? When we say temptation, it is something I try. If I cannot be succeed, that is my temptation, but it is not working with you. So was Shaitan able to tempt Jesus? The answer no. Was Shaitan able to tempt me and you? The answer is yes. So the question is, was Shaitan able to tempt Muhammad, yes or no? No, the thing is, I was talking about Jesus. Hold like, on. No, no, in no, the no, desert, no, no, no. he we, was tempting him to sin. We are trying to prove to that Jesus was a human, or a human, not God or not. You mentioned to me the temptation. Shaitan, he could not really tempt Jesus. He could not make him do what he asked him to do. I'm asking you, did Shaitan make Muhammad do what he wanted him to do? It, so now we we still take the, the the hadith in account. Not the hadith. I can show you the Quran. What do you want? Okay, give me the Quran. Have you ever heard of the satanic verses? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, uh, and what? How Shaitan gave say Muhammad satanic verses? By it was something about like whispering okay. like the so, the tree. So you are uh, complaining uh, about pagan. Okay, let us let us see the hypocrisy you have. You agreed that Shaitan, he put something in the mouth of the Prophet. He whispered in his ears and he made him say his words. And that no, is fine for you. Ultimately, it was like, ultimately, uh, Muhammad didn't, like, didn't provide that. No, he didn't. didn't provide the verses. Stop lying. Stop lying. The verse in the Quran <laughs> says clearly that he did. Chapter one, 2, verse, you know, let us go. Let us go and see. <laughs> A second ago, you said that he, he he whispered to him. Did you say that he whispered to him? Did you say he whispered was... to him? Did you say Shaitan? He whispered to him. Like according, like concerning the the the, the satanic, satanic verses. verses. Yes. And did Muhammad obey? No, no ultimately, like the okay. it was rejected. Just to show you that this is what you are not being truthful. This is the Quran in front of us, chapter twenty-two, verse number. 52 never we send a messenger or a prophet before thee which means before muhammad but when he framed a desire satan throw some vanity into his desire yeah and ultimately allah will cancel anything thank you that's satan will cancel chosen what? allah will cancel what um the, the, the falseness from satan the the, the, the he will the, cancel it from where sorry he will cancel it from where? From himself. I don't. I don't really. I don't. I'm not sure if I <laughs> get you. He will cancel it from what Muhammad he did, and he said. That's why it says, "Fayansahu." Allah will cancel anything the Shaitan he throw into Muhammad. What is that? That is Quran. If we go and read the interpretation, we will see that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses. Then Jibreel come to him after a while and he said to him, Muhammad, I did not give you those verses. Yeah, we, 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 agree, on, we okay. agree on that. I'm okay, really so sorry. Agree. Okay. Because yes. I'm so you agree. Low he agree. Okay, like okay, okay, agree okay. On hold on, hold on, hold on. So you agree that Shaitan he spoke in the mouth of Muhammad. How Jesus, Shaitan, could not speak in his mouth, and how Muhammad, who is the favorite person for Allah, the best of the Prophet, Shaitan was able to use his mouth 
to speak satanic verses. Um, the, so the question is like, why, like, why to Muhammad and not Jesus? Yeah, why, why, why this happened to Muhammad? Shaitan, he could not do anything to Jesus, but Shaitan, he was able to control the mind of Muhammad because if I make you speak my words and you agreed, that's mean I controlled your mind. Yeah, because okay. the because Muhammad and Jesus didn't have the same nature, like Jesus was the Messiah. Okay. And the so thing is like what is the nature? Both, okay, like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Both. Here we have something important, guys. He agreed that Jesus don't have the same nature as Muhammad. What is that? Of mean? course not, because like because um because it's like the, the children like when Mary was pregnant, it came directly from, from Allah. Oh right. So he's holy. He's he's the Masih basically. So I don't know what uh, what does that mean? Is he holy? Is that because he's holy? Shaitan cannot do anything to him, but because Muhammad is just a normal human being, Shaitan he can do that to him. But the thing is, like uh, Satan could do things to Jesus, but the thing is, like uh, God protected him okay, the way he protected God, Muhammad. Why he God protected Jesus, but he don't want to protect Muhammad? But he did protect Muhammad, like no, the, the verse you, you quoted, no, like, okay, okay, no, explicitly, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. Uh, he did Allah not protect anything oh, that comes no, from Satan. No, no, he did not protect Muhammad. You just said Shaitan, he used his mouth. So Shaitan, he used Muhammad, and the, 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 the fixing now will happen after the damage happened. So Allah will repair what Shaitan damage he did to Muhammad. No, 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 where do you see that the, it comes after? Because like it's Jesus you know, the one who said Allah cancel it, cancel it. It's, uh, how you cancel something that's not exist? Did he cancel what is exist or cancel nothing? Let's say Satan throws in and then like um, Allah cancels it. Like okay, basically, cancels, so it doesn't okay, become so, part so Shaitan, of the relationship. Shaitan accomplished his mission. Shaitan, he wanted Muhammad to say his words. And Muhammad, he did speak the words of Shaitan. So how Allah protected Muhammad? Secondly, by canceling anything. No, no, this just is, right this after. not a protection. If somebody beat you and after after he beat you, I put bondage in your face. That mean I cancel it? No. <laughs> Secondly, is it really like? Let, let like, me ask. Uh, let me ask you. Can Shaitan control a good man? Can Shaitan control a good man? Yeah. It it depends. Like I mean, if if the man is is like protected by God, he can't. Hmm. So are you saying to me, Muhammad? Oh, he will try. He okay. will try. So you are saying to be. me? Okay, let's make it clear. If Allah, he said, I protect the good man, Shaitan, he cannot get close to him. Are you saying that? Can you repeat, please? I'm sorry. I'm you say, my I, you my if, English sucks. Okay, you said if God, he could protect a man, Shaitan, he cannot do that to him, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if Allah, he promised to protect someone, there's no way Shaitan, he can do to him, uh, make him speak his words. And do you have a source for for, for no, I'm that? Just, I'm just trying to have a conversation. No, I don't have a source. I'm learning from you. No, I I believe that um, I believe that, of course, Muhammad was uh, a prophet, but he was a man. Like mm -hmm. no, like all prophets, like uh, all prophets have been tempted okay, by no, by no, Shaitan. No, you know, no, so you see, I believe see, that see, they can be tempted, you, but that you. ultimately I don't know. they will be protected if, by if that. You, if you have dignity, really, you will leave Islam right now, right here, by by what I will show you. Um, okay. Okay, read with me carefully what I will show you on the screen. So you mean on the on the live, right? In the live. Okay. Chapter 15, verse number 42. Allah, he said, For over my servant, you have no authority except the one who put themselves in wrong and follow thee. Actually, it says al gawin which means the criminals. So, Shaitan, according to the Quran, wait, can you give me like the verse, like so I have the Arabic chapter, in front of me? Chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two. Okay, you I have. Said, you okay, said, in Arabic. Let me, yeah. remind, let me remind you. You said before that Jesus, Shaitan, he could not die to him because Allah protect him. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the Quran is saying. Allah protect every servant of him. And yeah, Shaitan, and he did with on. Muhammad too. Hold I on. mean, no, he did not. He did not. He did not. He did not. Uh, he did. He, no. he canceled like the vanity. No. Satan well, like, throws it. He canceled from the Quran, not from Muhammad. Hold on. He canceled from the Quran. He took the satanic verses from the Quran. 
But Muhammad, he did obey the command of the shaitan. He spoke by the word of shaitan. If me speaking the word of shaitan, that make me satanic prophet. If I am prophesying for shaitan, in this moment, I am a satanic prophet. So how you say to me, he protect him. The Quran said clearly that shaitan have no authority whatsoever, which means he cannot do any harm. He cannot do anything to any of his servants. So how shaitan was able to control the mouth of Muhammad and the mind of Muhammad? But the, what I don't understand is that like the verse in the Quran basically says that Allah can say anything that comes from shaitan. No, so no, it stop, is stop, protecting stop, stop, him. Stop, 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 stop. So you are saying to me, if you commit adultery, Allah will cancel it from you. You are saying to me, if you kill somebody, Allah will cancel it from you. If you no, but me, like you, you are think, you saying okay, to me, you if you, if, right are you after, saying no, to me, I, I, okay, hold on. Are you saying to me, now I go live on air and I say, hey guys, let us worship shaitan <laughs> and that Allah will cancel it from me and this is protection? Because your prophet, he said, your prophet, he said, let us worship the three daughters of Allah. How Allah can cancel that? And what is ultimately in the Quran about these three pagan goddesses? What is it? The, the, the now. Topic. Hold on. Did your prophet say, is, let, us, let us praise and ask the three daughters of Allah for intercession? And he bowed down and he worshipped them. So how Allah can cancel that? He canceled from the Quran as words. But Muhammad, he did say that already. And Allah in the Quran says, Allah forgive not those who commit shirk. Muhammad, he just commit shirk. No, he didn't praise the, the he goddesses. Did. He did. He did. Don't lie. He oh, did. He did. Oh, where? What's your source? What do you mean? What's my source? What's wrong with Muslims? They speak to me as if I as if they never heard of anything before. I mean, each time I speak to a Muslim, he says to me, "Where? From where?" Chapter two, twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. Let us go to the source. It's amazing. They play like they never heard of it. So, so Quran two twenty-two. Hmm. Where is your source, huh? That's fun. No, because because here yeah, it's not like saying something and doing it. It's two different things, basically. No, he did it. He did it. He said things. Okay, religion is about saying things. If I say they say shahada, you become a Muslim. <laughs> I mean, you are no. Bad. It's are you uh, no, no, no. It's in it's in the, the earth. <laughs> no. So if you say shahada, yes, it is. If you say shahada, you are a Muslim no more. I mean, if I if I'm an atheist and I don't like I recite the, the shahada, I won't become a Muslim. So what? So what? The so if saying things will not make you a mushrik, so what make you a mushrik? <laughs> tensions in the in the earth. Okay. Let, me, the, let me ask. Let me ask. Hurt. Did 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 Muhammad he confirm that shaitan he command him? Where Muhammad? He confirm, where Muhammad he receive his command from? From Allah or from shaitan? What? Can you repeat, please? Where Muhammad received his commands from? From Allah or from the shaitan? From Allah. Well, the hadith in front of us says that shaitan command Muhammad. But ultimately, as the verse recorded, don't, but, Allah me. protects you him. Are the, a second ago, he said, if you say it does not mean, does not mean they are, you are following shaitan, now we are showing you that he is commanding him. Not only he is speaking for shaitan, Muhammad saying that he command him good command. Shaitan give Muhammad good command. Do you see the hate in front of you? Yeah, so, but as, as the hadith so said, the yes, but Allah helps people against him, okay, so on. I am safe from his hand. Okay, do you believe that there's a good shaitan and bad shaitan? No, I don't see what, what so does how it has to do with anything. Hold on. So how Shaitan give him good commands? He's Shaitan. How did the devil give Muhammad good commands? I'm kind of lost. Like, where do you see that he gave him good comments? It says, it says in front of you on the screen. It says, but Allah helps me against him, and I am so I am safe from him, his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. So he command him, but good command. Oh, so so the like the devil. Yeah, the devil, Mr. Shaitan. Okay. So the Shaitan give give Muhammad good commands. What is that? Eat candies. No, I don't believe that. 
what do you mean don't believe in that? This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. Yeah, no, but uh, uh, responding to your question, no, no, I didn't know the this hadith. I don't care if you know that. Now you know. Now you know. I'm showing it to you on the screen. Yeah, this now is I Sahih know. Muslim. Yeah. This is Sahih hadith. You cannot say it's not right. See? So, oh no, I didn't say I, okay. it was not right. So I, shaitan, you said I didn't know. Okay, it. so now what we showed you that Muhammad he received command from the Shaitan in the Quran. Allah will cancel the command. Where in the Quran, which means what is the Muslims they heard to worship the three daughters of Allah, but Muhammad already he worshipped them and he bowed down and all of them they agree with him for the first time. The pagan and the Arab Muslims they pray together in one place and they bow down because Muhammad he said the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must. And now Muhammad in the hadith confirmed that he have a command from the good shaitan, good command. Oh, so you think that ultimately, like, like okay, the, the shaitan you, controls him? Can shaitan control the behavior of Muhammad? But the but the, the problem is that it, it enters in contradiction with the verse that says that Allah no, protects the verse, him no, from. No, okay, contradiction is all over the Quran. I mean, this is not not only contradiction because I showed you that Allah He says in the Quran, "Over my good servants, you have no authority." Correct? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm asking you. Can shaitan control the behavior of Muhammad, the action, not only the words? Can he or he cannot? No, according to the Quran, not because okay. ultimately so he will how be protected. Here, okay, how here the, Quran, the hadith says that Muhammad, he was controlled by the devil, by the black magic. In the, in the hadith you, you said before. No, this is a new hadith. Okay, it's, it's another hadith, okay. Read with me carefully. Once was the prophet, the prophet was bewitched so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Mm -hmm. How this happened? You told well, me, according to the hadith, it was you told, me, you told me Allah cancel, Allah cancel, Allah cancel. Here we go, the prophet is bewitched. So you are saying to me, you claim, and I don't believe you, that you used to be Christian and you decide to leave Jesus, the Holy Messiah, and you follow the bewitched prophet. No, because for me, for me, like for okay. me, uh, no, 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 no. I left. Are you are you following the bewitched prophet right now? Are you following the no, bewitched no, no, prophet? No, no, no. Let, let me what explain. Do what do you mean? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. The hadith in the front of you says the prophet was bewitched, and you follow who? You follow Muhammad. So you follow the bewitched Muhammad. How you follow the bewitched man? Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Mm. I follow like prophets from Abraham to Muhammad, indeed. Mm. But for me, like the fact that I left, um, like this, uh, the Catholic Church. Yeah, Catholic. All, mean... all, all Muslims they call me. They used to be Catholic. Actually, there's a one who called me. He used to be the Pope. I get the point. Mm. But you do not know anything about Christianity. But this is another question. No, the thing is, how the thing you is, follow? I... How you follow a bewitched prophet? He is a bewitched. How he can be a prophet of God? But yet he was controlled, fully controlled. When we say bewitched, what does that mean? Explain to me. Oh, so he, to you, he was bewitched from the, the start to the, to, the, to the end. It doesn't matter. The Quran says, you have no authority over my servant. And you agreed. You said yes. And the Quran says, you have no authority over them except the one who follow thee. So in order for, for shaitan to control you, you have to follow him. Yeah, but, but in the hadith, it says that he didn't do anything. No, he so did. He... Shaitan, he controlled him. He was bewitched. When you but say he you... didn't really control him, because my Muhammad friend, didn't my act friend, on when his you say words. bewitched, that means you are out of control of your own. The one who bewitched you, Shaitan, is controlling you. This is what bewitched means. Somebody okay, plays a black magic on you. He didn't act on that. He did. He did. Read with me. Don't you, don't you see what's happening? The, the prophet, he went crazy. He imagined, so he, that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done. You said to me that your prophet went all the way to the sky and he went to Jerusalem, correct? Mm -hmm. Maybe he was bewitched. Because he imagined. <laughs> ah, okay, I get you. Ah, okay, I get your point of view. I get what you mean. So how no, you can trust okay. a crazy guy like this? You see, there's nothing. It's called bewitched. But because Muhammad is a crazy man, and the Arab at that time, 
in order to explain how some crazy stuff happening to a person and they say he was bewitched okay so no, the gonna, crazy man can't gonna... be trusted muhammad cannot be trusted because he's he's a, he's a crazy Obviously. No, I get, I get what you mean. Okay, I get what you okay. mean. I get your point. So, of you. are you going to follow a man who is, he imagined that he had done a thing, but in fact he did not? It's it's a Sahih hadith. It's a Sahih. You told me. Absolutely, this is Sahih Bukhari, my friend. This is Sahih Bukhari, and okay. the in the front of you, Sahih Bukhari is the most accurate book after the Quran, and the one is talking is Aisha. Okay, so okay. but so, we could consider that the the his revelation of the Quran sure was... because, because the, all of this can be false because he maybe he did not see Jibreel. This guy he had there there's a there's an illness you know that there's some people they have two personality. So in the morning he sees something, in the night he is someone else. <laughs> I'm not, okay, I'm not do, do we know that it was during the revelation, this after the revelation? Or? No, it doesn't matter. This is during. He's a prophet now. He's a prophet. He is a prophet. This is the time he is a prophet. Yes, but his revelation what is what matters in the like the revelation we get now. It doesn't matter. The prophet, when he spoke revelation, he was bewitched. But he wasn't the only one to to suffer from 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 black magic stuff like. My uh, friend, my friend, I don't care about the rest. The I, don't, I don't care about the rest. He is a prophet, which means he is going to impact my life because he say things I have to obey. So now, how I can know how I can trust him if this guy, if you take this, if you if you have a witness, you you go to the judge and you say this guy he have a mental illness, he imagined he saw something. In fact, he did not see the judge. He would refuse him as a witness. Correct. But we know that the revelation is protected by God, ultimately. My friend, what revelation? There's no revelation. What revelation? The Quranic revelation. Okay. What is the proof that the Quran is a revelation? Give me a verse from the Quran. Give me a chapter. It's not a joke. There are plenty of prophecies. Like what? About give, me, the, give me one. The, give me one. Um, the prophecies about the, the Romans, for example. Okay. Let us see the Roman. The Roman, the verse of the Roman given to Muhammad after... The victory of the Roman happened. Why Muslims are, 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 are really ignorant? What kind of a prophecy? If the prophecy came after he won, after the Roman they won, read the hadith with me. Do you know how to read? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Abu Sa'id Abu Sa'id narrated, on the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believer were pleased with that. Then the following verse was revealed. <laughs> How the prophecy come after the news? But, what but? but? Imagine, imagine I prophesy now. Hello, I, hello, I, do I, you hear me? I hear you. Don't tell me you don't hear me. You hear me. How the prophecy? Yes, I do know. How the prophecy come after the victory? If Muhammad prophesying that they will be victorious, but the prophecy came after the victory. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Let me prophesy to you. Trump is no, president get, in 2016. Yeah. I made a prophecy now that Trump he will be a president in 2016. What do you say? You believe it? I prophesy. No, yeah. The, you, your whole point is that like, okay. the, the prophecy so was someone. fulfilled me, after okay. it was, let me show it you was that, done. Okay, what about the prophet? He says that the Roman, they will be the majority of the population of the world. When what? Like, the what Roman, is the revelation? The, the Roman will yeah. be the majority, the major population of the earth. What do you think about such a prophecy? And this is Sahih. The Prophet said that I heard Allah Messenger, may Allah bless you, says, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the major population of the earth. So this is in a, Sahih. In a hadith Sahih. Sahih. Okay. Yes, Sahih. Here we go. I, you, you, you mentioned the Roman. We got you. We got the one first one to be false. And now what about one? The Roman now. The Roman they will be the major population of the earth. Where how this can happen? Uh, no, it's a, the, the total the population. The, to no. the total population of of Italy. All of it is not even the size of little state in India. It, de it depends uh, who you consider a Roman. The Roman is no. the Roman, my friend. Don't play games. The Roman is the Roman. 
The Roman is the yeah, Roman. Yeah, but Romans were like historically Romans were not like solely Ita Italians. Like no, North Africa was Roman. Roman. No, no, Turkey no. was Roman. They gave, they gave sometimes certain shape to others, but they don't consider them as Roman. You have to be a Roman to be called Roman. And the Roman are the Roman. Who is the Roman now? You tell me. Where is the Roman? Uh, it, and why I told you like it was up to interpretations now. No, no, like, no. Like who see, you consider you Roman. Playing games. He said he. Obviously, he's speaking about a, 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 a nation exists in his time, the Roman Empire, and the Roman who control it is those who control the empire. The rest, like, you know, the, when the English, they control uh, India, the Indian is not English. Do you agree? But the Roman he, identity was to, something, to, something no, to, Roman totally Roman. different. No, like, everyone Roman, who was colonized the by Romans Roman was a Roman. A Roman, he did not say... Whoever, like those population of the, uh, uh, who live in that area, no, he said the Roman, the Persian, the Roman, the Arab, those are names used at that time for people yeah, in I got language it. Yeah. and have ethnic. The Roman are not exist no more. Your prophet is a false prophet. Because the Romans doesn't exist no more. That, that's your... Yeah, because this means that your prophet the is a thing, liar. He the said, thing is that either he, it's he say concerning only, the future, like so, unless say, you're listen, able to foresee listen, something listen, like that. He did not only say there will be the majority. He claimed that this judgment day will not come until yeah. they become the majority. And the number of Italian is shrinking compared to before. Not but the I think this is a problem. Like you take uh, the Itali Italian Italian okay, nation okay, okay, nationality okay, no, 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 as Roman, it doesn't no, work me, like okay, that. Okay, tell me, give me your interpretation. Who is the Roman today? The thing is that when you when you take the history of the Roman friend, Empire, give me, everyone give me, don't, who was see, under Roman you, rule. You don't accept. You don't accept the Roman. The Roman it says Roman, so we have to go by it. Now I don't go with don't, don't go with the Roman. Tell me your no, no. The problem, the problem is that the Roman identity is not something like it's not a monolith. My friend, so, and, it, ago, and it's about something this, in the future. This, so the unless you are able to foresee look at the this coming, look you, at you the cannot be sure. You said to me just 15 minutes ago the prophecy of the victory of the Roman. So why you call yeah. them Roman if you do not know who are they, the Roman? Because it prophesizes uh, a prophecy. Prophecy about who? The Roman. How you know who is the Roman? They will be victorious. Who is the victorious? The Roman. So the Roman are people you know. Now you do not know who is the Roman. Second, a second ago, you know who is the Roman. They will be victorious, the Roman. When we got you busted with the first one, now suddenly you do not know who is the Roman. Yeah, because it's something concerning the future. <laughs> But your prophet talking about the Roman in his time, my friend. <laughs> Those Roman, they will be in the future, the majority. Stop being a fool. But there's a, a prophecy about the defeat of the, the Roman. What defeat? I just I showed you that he, he, he the verse was given to him after the after the after the victory. What what defeat? <laughs> let me ask you, let me ask you. Okay. Uh, what make Muhammad a prophet? <laughs> the fact that like what he what he managed to do like from like from from Islam like basically spreading the the word of God while mm -hmm. having basically all of Arabia and his family against him being able to unify Arabia and to to spread so Jankis Khan is a prophet Jankis Khan is a prophet sorry Zankiz has Zankiz Khan is a prophet. No, he's not. Why? He, he unified all the, the the Tatar and he made them. Did he provide them monotheism? Did he, did he provide anything? What about, okay, what about religious? the Pharaoh? The Pharaoh, he is a prophet. Then he's God. He he claimed monotheism too. What monotheism? Secondly, when you say monotheism, why your prophet he kiss a black stone? Do you know? No, 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 like, like you, you, you're taking too, too much points. Uh, no, I'm not the, taking points. You just said mention monotheism. How you Muslims, you Muslims are hypocrite. They claim that they are people who worship one God, but the fact you worship Muhammad and Allah and you kiss the stones. So how we you don't worship, we don't worship Muhammad and we no, don't worship, worship the stone itself. Okay, what is shark? What is, uh, what is shark? What is shark? The word shark, what does that mean? When you associate okay, do you God associate the, to someone who's not. Thank you. Do you associate the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah when you say the Shahada? 
you didn't know because you, you you say explicitly and you know it that Muhammad is the messenger. You don't say okay. that he is do you, do you associated Allah? to God. Do you obey Muhammad before Allah or you obey Allah before Muhammad? Sorry, what? Which one you obey first, Allah or Muhammad? Allah. That's not true. How is not? What do you mean it's not? Yeah. Because the the Quran is the the first like it's okay, read the, the Quran, word of God that, that we follow read, 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 before read, read, anything read, read, else. Read the Quran for me, chapter four, verse number eight. Chapter four, and, uh, verse number eight. Hmm. Which verse? Chapter four, verse number eighty. So we got, he who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah, but those who turn away, we have not to send okay. to you over you to them me, as a gorgy. First. You said to me, no, 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 we obey Allah first, which means it's not right to obey a messenger first. The verse saying that Allah, but, <laughs> obeying Allah is from obeying Muhammad. Yeah. Okay. A second so ago, what? you said, no, 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 no. So why it was no, 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 no. Which obviously was wrong for you, but now you because the, the command to to obey the messenger comes from Allah why, why first. You, why you obey messenger before you obey Allah? You told me no, we obey Allah first. You forgot for the second. Yeah, time. but we we obey Allah first. If no, you he, don't obey if Allah. In okay, the first on. place, he the tells Quran us to says, obey the messenger. The Quran, the Quran says you you do muta. You can rent a Muslim sister for sex in the elevator, for sex. Muhammad later, according to Muslim Sunni. He forbid you from doing that. Which one you obey? The Quran of Allah or the Hadith of Muhammad? It depends if it's the in the Quran or not. No, in the Quran it says you do muta, chapter 4, verse 24. So which one you obey? Do you practice muta now or you practice what Muhammad said to you? Don't do it no more. Well, it depends now on the on on which which interpretation you follow what do you bend what depend what depend man what's wrong with you the sunni and the shia both agree don't play the interpretation shia and sunni agree chapter 24 24 24 is about muta the sunni they say that the hadith cancel it muhammad he allowed it for some time and then he forbid it then he allowed it 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 then he forbid it because he's a joke marriages with the those you right hand processes that's it no this is not this is not the muta the, the, the slaves to have sex with them is not muta muta is to have sex with the free muslim women white white free women not to kidnap a black woman and you have contract with her for sex that's what muta is okay now because okay 424 so okay, hold on. talks about so like the quran, says, uh, the quran says you do muta do you practice muta where what do you mean where chapter 4 verse 24 I, I don't recall anything about like muta in it. I, I know that there's something about both you right hand process. But... <laughs> How old are you? 21. I feel sorry for you, man. First, Why? First, you are not being honest. Because there's no way you are a Muslim for all those years and you never heard of the muta in the Quran. No, I know, I I know about it. Okay, so but what you are saying in to me? Four twenty four. So when I woke up, I don't easy. know where. I do not know where. I do not know what are you talking about. If you know, it's mean you know. Okay, so the Quran says you do muta. Okay. The Hadith says yeah, and I, don't I, do muta. Which one The thing one you is, do? Muhammad said that it wasn't, it wasn't like lawful. So Sunni so does doesn't do it anymore. Okay, I'm asking you now. Which one you obey, Allah or Muhammad? Allah, He says it's lawful. Ah, uh, you obey if he says if Muhammad says that it's not lawful anymore, then you obey him what he says. Okay, because so, ultimately, so see, in the first place, you just the to obey me, you just the command to, to obey hold the messenger on, is from Allah. So you, you still me, obey Allah. You just to prove to me that Islam is false, because if Allah He made a law, how Allah He cancel His law without canceling it? Can Muhammad the man cancel the order of Allah? 
Did Allah if it's give, upon did, Allah's command, where, where is the command yeah. of Allah? Okay, where is the Allah? The command is in the Quran. The command of Allah is in the Quran. The command of Allah in the Quran, do muta. Where is the command of Allah in the Quran? It says to don't do muta. There is none. So what do you do? You obey Muhammad, but you don't obey Allah. Yeah, because Allah. from Muhammad, yeah. Okay, because that's mean Muhammad is your God. Whatever Muhammad he says, you say, you take. <laughs> no, because if, if in the first place, my friend, my friend, what he says, no Muslims, what he orders no is from are, God. Muslims are false cult and pagans, and they are following a crazy man. He says, if you want to. No, let me ask. Let, let me prove to you that you are crazy. I ask you about the black stone. You jump. You try to avoid talking about it. And let me show you that Muhammad is a crazy man. Why you kiss the black stone? Tell me. You tell me. You you are the Muslim, not me. Why you kiss the black stone? To clean from sins. How this? How the how how the black stone will clean your sin? Upon Allah's authority. I thought God is the only one can can clean you from your sin, and now you are saying to me that you people believe in monotheism, yet you believe that stones, if you kiss it, it will clean your sin. Is that what monotheism mean? That stones, you kiss the stones, they erase your sin. Do you, is the stone worshipped? Yeah, you do by kissing it, and you just told me it erases your sin, so it does what what God does. So kissing it f means yeah, like you tell you... me why you kiss it? Why you kiss it then? If you are not a pagan person, why you kiss a stone? And but how kissing stone, it doesn't mean worshiping it. Stone, it has no, no like. No, no, no. You, no it, it means worship because this is an act of worship. This is a religious practice. This is not for fun. You are not playing hide and seek. You touch the stone and you hide behind it. So we say this is not pr uh, an act of worship. This is an act of worship because it's a practice of Islam. And anything you practice for the sake of getting close to Allah is an act of worship. So stop fooling yourself. You kiss the stone to get close to Allah. And you just told me that the black stone erase your sin. How the stone can erase your sin? Through um, God's will. Here we go. God will in the in the stone. <laughs> you are one hundred percent the pagan person. No, the because the stone Allah. doesn't Hold come on. from anywhere, and you the just, stone you hasn't just, you just like it hasn't you it just hasn't admitted, like it. You just admitted that the will of Allah is in a stone. No, his will is anywhere, but the stone is special no. in itself. No, 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 but no, 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 no. He no. doesn't have any, anything like anywhere. To, we do don't kiss, worship it. Do you kiss all the stones? No. Do you kiss all? Do you do you pray to the direction of all the stones? No, you pray only to the direction of the black stone. You pray because it's a direction to gather stone. all the prayers. No, like no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't go around. And you no, it's say, not. It's not because it, it was to avoid. Basically, it was in the first place to avoid uh, shirk. So basically, the, the the direction for prayers was set there, but. The, the player, the, the prayers. I, no, themselves. no, no, no. The direction of the prayer, my friend. The Quran says that the direction of a prayer, uh, uh, according to Umar al Khattab, it was him who decided that the Kaaba must be our station for prayer. And I can show you the Hadith. It was uh, this Jerusalem first, and then it became the Kaaba. No, no, no. The question now: Why Allah He put His will that if you kiss that stone, your sin is forgiven? No, you know it's it's uh, it's upon the the tradition of the Prophet. Why the tradition? It's from the the, the, the tradition see, of, see, of the Prophet because the Prophet said that the black stone came down from from paradise. The tradition of the Prophet is not in his tradition. This is the tradition of the Arab. The Arab before Islam they used to worship the same black stone. Oh really? Yeah, and not only that. I don't think so because they worship the idols, stone. but not this stone no. specifically. No. There were so many idols back then. No, the, the, the black stone is an idol too. Is the vagina of Baal, the vagina of Manat. The vagina of Allah, it's a vagina of the gods of the sky, and any woman she wanna be, she wanna deliver a child, she go when she have her period, she touch her vagina when she have her blood, and then she place her hand inside the stone, and this is why the hadith says, and even the interpretation of Muslims, that the black stone was blackened by the vagina by the period of the women in the time of Jahiliya. No, it was blackened by the by the sins of uh, Aden. 
Do you want me to show you, my friend? Yeah, I have the uh, the hadith too. The sin of uh, the sin of uh, uh, what? <laughs> the sins of the sons of Adam, Adam <laughs> okay. made it black. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's from in the Abbas. The black stone, the black stone was white, correct? Yeah. Okay, and when you touch it, your it suck your sin, correct? Mm hmm. Okay, and then by time, because too much sin, the black stone became black. Yeah, by those okay. who joined partners so, with So black with people, Allah. they became black people. They became black because of the sin. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So now, if you are a black person, you became a black because you commit sin, and this is the no, 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 no. What are you saying? <laughs> what is he? What, what are you saying? No, 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 no. You just admitted. The black stone, and you said yes about the people too. The black stone was white, correct? Yes, and okay. it got blackened because of the sins of because people. Because of the sin. Right? Okay, thank you very much. So sin make you black. But the way you you talking about color of skin? <laughs> We're talking about stone. Yes, the stone is a, a, a the, the stone is a stone. It was white. It became a black. It it was white when before sin. Yeah, okay, so what? So, yeah, okay. but we're talking about the stone. Like, what do you no talk problem. about? Like, no, we... becoming black, like black people. I feel like you're, you're talking about black people. Yeah, we are talking about black people, yeah. You know? Why? Why? We're talking about the stone. Because your prophet, he said that. Did your prophet, he said that Allah created the black people from the right, from the left shoulder of Adam. And he said to them, you go to hell and I don't care? Oh no, I don't think so. No, because he said that the the diversity um, of our skin and our languages is a sign from his power, basically in the Quran. Guys, he doesn't say anything <laughs> about like uh, <clears throat> the hadith. Look, look at the look at the Muslims. The hadith was in web, this website. They took it off. We cannot find it. The hadith thirty eight about eternity, where he said, "If somebody have different website, give it to me." So we can show it this to this uh, this guy. Your prophet, he said, that Allah he created the white people from the right hand, the right shoulder of Adam, and he said to them, "You go to heaven. I don't care." But he, this but this hadith is not in in uh, Sunnah dot com, right? It, so what? There's many hadith not in the Sunnah. No, no. I'm just I'm just my asking friend, to know if friend, we can find it. It is, the, it is in the book of the Termuzi, but yet it's not in Sunnah.com. And this is telling us that the Sunnah.com is a false website too, because why the book of Termuzi is there, but they cannot find this hadith there, because they are liars. They are ashamed of it. No, but because like I want to I want to see it if if I can like. Yeah, we, we have many videos about it before. You can watch my videos about the black and white. We show it in, in the same website many times. They took it off, as usual. Now, but you agreed that the black stone was white, and then, okay, hold it on. It became black due okay. to, due to okay. sins. Okay, hold yeah. on. Does the Quran say anywhere that the bad ones, Allah will make them black? That their, their faces will be darkened. Black. Darkened. What dark mean? What is that color? What does that mean? Like dark blue? I don't know. Darken basically means what, darken. What do you like mean your dark? face gets darkened, it doesn't say it's what going do you mean, to be what do you mean darkened? to be more black or more brown. It just says it will be darkened. What do you mean darkened? Read it carefully. Why? Why? Why Muslims? They li they love to lie. Why? I'm not lying to you. Like okay, the, the verse know, says, like true. their faces the the will be darkened. Why the sin? Why the pious one will be brighter? This is chapter thirty-nine, verse number sixty. Does it say that Allah will make them black? Blackened. Yeah, blackened. Black. No black. Blackened. Like uh, my black translation, a, like from Sahih International, black says black it's saying black. It will make them black, black. It will make them black. This is the Muslim translation. I'm not using my translation. No, yeah, yeah. It's uh, well, black and basically means black, going black. Okay, so why they will, why Allah will make the bad people black? But the thing is, like, you take black as in black people, like Africans people or like Indian people. Mm -hmm. But black and can can also mean like being black, just uh, okay. having so your us, fair, me, your, your face and you dark, agree. like okay. black. Nobody's really black okay, in, in real us, life. Let us me and me and you agree. 
if the Quran meant that Allah will make the people black, that will be racist. Do you agree with that? That will be ugly. no, 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 no. Because in, you, you, you take it as black in the sense of like no, no, no. Okay, no problem. No problem. The modern no sense problem, of black my friend. People. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm saying, if the Quran meant that Allah will make the people literally black, that will be evil. Do you agree with that? That will be racist. No, no, no. So you have no problem. Allah will make people black. No, because the thing is, like you, you take black as in as in the, the the term, like we understand it as black people. I am not saying how you understand it, how we understand it. I am saying if if listen carefully, if okay, if, if the verses meant that Allah will make them literally black, are you going to consider that evil? I, I don't see why since it's um, so why you are saying Allah will not make them black literally you are saying it is just uh, make it as if it's a metaphorical so is it literally or not it depends do, when you ask me the question don't tell me the bend stop you... saying the bend you see you are playing games what the bend I'm asking no, no, you no, I'm is trying it, to understand because is it, you is can... if it is if it is liter literally is that going to make Islam bad religion no why no isn't it making because people... you because again <laughs> When the when he, when the verse says uh, faces become turning black, it doesn't mean turning black okay, in the if sense it's, as, if as, it as we understand mean, it in what, are, our society. Are you playing slow or you are slow? If it does, if it does, if 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 I'm not saying it does. I'm saying if if the verse saying Allah will the, will make the black the bad ones the black. If that is the case, is that will make yeah. Islam bad religion for you? No, because basically every everyone who had lied about Allah mm -hmm. will be black. So everyone, not just one type of people. Okay. So it's not so, like... So you admitted that according to Islam, being a black is a penalty and a punishment. <laughs> no, 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 you're bringing some serious you mental say, guys, gymnastics you there. You see the hypocrisy? You see the hypocrisy? You just said, yes, if somebody is lying to Allah... Allah will make him black. Yeah, but not okay. black in the, so, in the sense so as you understand a, it as a, a people black, like black being people. A black, okay, being a black is because you are bad. It's a penalty. Yeah, but who's black? The one who is bad. Yeah, right. Okay, but so we the just, thing is like so, you understand so according black. To the, okay, according to your stupid God, being a black is because it's a, it's a curse. It is Allah. Making you b black because he punished you. But not you. black, but not black as uh, as uh, as for example Africans. Yes, you just said no, 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 no. Why? Okay, no. okay. Let me get you busted. Are you ready? Okay, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chapter twenty-seven, verse number eighty-two. Your God Allah will send a beast, and this beast have a very funny look. Is going to chase the people, and is going to have the ring of Moses, the ring of Solomon, and the and the and the staff of Moses. And is going to hit the disbeliever in his face with the ring. And is going to make the disbeliever black. And the believer will make him white. Read carefully and don't tell me it doesn't say that. Guys, read carefully. There is no, here we go. This is the, is, you know, it will bring with it out the staff of Moses and the ring of Suleiman. There is no believer, will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there is no, dis no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread until mm -hmm. his face is a black as a result. Mm -hmm. And then? So? Except, again, it's a, it's so a, the thing is, the, is, the point is, is, Allah will make, point you, is, Allah will make you black African. No, no, or, no, no, no. In the scriptures, you're quoting. When scriptures. I'm saying, I'm it says black, when it says black, I'm saying I am posting to you what Islam and uh, explained by Muslims, not by me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So okay. Allah will make but Allah in will explain, make all, in the explanation. Okay, Allah will make all disbelievers black. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. I agree with you. Is that a? <laughs> is, is that a? Is okay. Hold on. Is, step, step like by step. In the explanation. Step, oh, step by step. When Allah He made us black, I will He will make you black. Is that a reward or a punishment? When he makes us black. Yeah. Is that a reward for me or a punishment? 
It depends on what on what black you you think of. Oh, stop being stupid. Don't make me hang up on you. I mean, I'm I'm losing my patience with you. I'm trying to respect. Oh really? You. Yeah, because no, you are being, nice. you, are, you are playing you are playing like a fool. Like what, what do you mean? What do you mean? It says no, it thing is, Allah will make your color. You Allah I feel will like change the color of your don't skin. What I mean. Be is be a man. Stop being a kid. Allah will change the color of your skin. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll make it a black. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a penalty or reward? No, according to the verses, it's not. It's penalty. Correct. Yes. And Allah mm -hmm. will make all the Muslims white. Is that a penalty or reward? It's a it's a reward. Okay. So why Allah He choose the black color as penalty for the disbelievers and the white color for the believers as a reward? Because it's a white supremacist religion. It's, is that what you, what do you thank, think? Thank you very much. Take care. That's why. You... I'm not saying you just said that. <laughs> I did not say it's you who said. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want. Not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are speaking rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.